Biochemistry 20. This is our third lesson in the solutions unit. This is ion concentration. In this lesson, we will learn about ion concentration, how to calculate ion concentration, and we will work through two examples. Ion concentration. Solutions containing ionic compounds or strong acids and bases have the presence of ions. Quantities of ions are expressed in moles per liter or a concentration. Quantities of ions can be calculated using stoichiometry and a balanced chemical equation. For example, if we dissociate one mole of magnesium chloride, we will have one mole of magnesium two plus ions and two moles of chlorine ions. If we are starting with 2.4 moles per liter of magnesium chloride, in the solution we will then have 2.4 moles per liter of magnesium two plus ions and four 0.8 moles per liter of chlorine ions. We can find the concentration of ions by using the molar ratio in the chemical equation. Calculating ion concentration. Number one, start with a balanced dissociation or ionization equation. Number two, Find the concentration of the solute solution, meaning find the concentration of the substance you're putting into water. Number three, use a molar ratio, so stoichiometry, to determine the ion concentration. Please note that you can use moles per liter when performing a stoichiometry calculation. Example number one, if 0.565 moles of aluminum chloride are used to prepare a 600 milliliter solution, determine the concentration of the chloride ions in the resulting solution. Pause the video and attempt this example. Aluminum chloride is an ionic compound and it is also soluble. So first we have to write a dissociation equation. We can then find the moles of chloride ions by using stoichiometry. We are starting with 0.565 moles of aluminum chloride. We can times that by the three over one ratio to find the amount of moles of chloride ions that will be in the solution. We can then take the mole value of chloride ions and divide it by the total volume in liters of the solution. That will then give us a molar concentration of 2.83 moles per liter of chloride ions. Example number two, a solution of iron three nitrate has a one 0.73 times 10 to the negative second moles per liter concentration of nitrate ions. If you have 250 milliliters of solution, what would be the mass of solute to produce this concentration? Pause the video and attempt this example. The question is asking for the mass of the solute. That means the mass of the substance that you are putting into water, which would be iron three nitrate. So let's take a look at the chemistry 20 calculations chart to understand this process. We are given a value in concentration of nitrate ions. We can then start with the volume of the solution, 250 milliliters and use the concentration value, which is provided in the question, to find the moles 
of nitrate ions. Once we have the moles of nitrate ions, we can then use the molar ratio in the chemical equation to find the moles of iron 3 nitrate, which would be the original solute. Once we have the moles of iron 3 nitrate, we can use the molar mass to then find the mass in grams. So here is our dissociation equation. Iron nitrate is ionic and will dissociate into its ions. We can then start with the volume in liters and times it by the moles per liter of nitrate ions to give us the amount of moles of nitrate ions in the solution. We can then take that mole value of nitrate ions and times it by the molar ratio in the chemical equation to find the moles of iron nitrate. We are then going to need the molar mass of iron nitrate, which is 241.88 grams per mole. We can then take the mole value of iron nitrate and times it by the molar mass to give us our final answer in grams. Our final answer is 0 0.349 grams of iron nitrate is required to make this solution. Moving forward, we will explore the concept of dilutions.